Um, so this site was actually originally looked at in 1964, I guess, by Wilfred Neal. And he found like four or five diagnostic paleo Indian points. Yeah. That, like date to the last ice age inside the cavern itself. Um, so since then it's been noted as a, a Paleo-Indian site in the Florida Master site file. But nobody's been back inside it um, to look, to do a thorough archeological survey really since Neil, you know. I know plenty of people have dove in, like looked for artifacts and whatnot, but nobody, how many people who like knew what they were looking for were really in here doing it. So that's really what turned us on at this site. Where did that guy come from? Did he come from the, the cavern? Yeah, it got stuck in my glove. All right. Get out! No way! <laughs> yeah, that's a flake for sure. <laughs> like, kind of revisiting these early sites that people looked at underwater that were rejected during the time, because now it's no problem for us to do science underwater time. And so when they found those artifacts coming out of that layer, that was the moment where like, holy cow, this could, this could really be it. So they notified uh, Charles Hoffman, who was at the University of Florida at the time, yeah. and he he had been interested in kind of the Ice Age archaeology of the area, and he came out and he thought it really had potential to, to be one of these rare sites that could demonstrate human and, and megafauna interaction. And in 1973, they, they did the, this was the first underwater prehistoric excavation in the Americas. It was the first of its kind, you know. He was, uh, he was pretty ahead of his time. 